when they grab you from behind and go, ah, yeah, they grab you from behind, <laughs> fucking bullshit, because <laughs> you don't expect it. All right, let's get started. Welcome to Strength and Gaming. I'm Samson Lancaster, and today I'm joined with Cat McGuire. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Salvador Madrigal. <laughs> Salutations and hello. And Eddie motherfucking Vargas. Hola, amigos. How are y'all doing? Good. Good. Great. So today, okay. <laughs> Sal, Sal's not doing. Eh. <laughs> uh, today we have a fun episode in store for you guys. We've uh, selected some indie games. This is going to be an indie game spotlight. Uh, all of us have at least played, at least one of us has played every single one of these. And some multiples of us have played them. So um, we just want to share with you our experience <laughs> and we'll go through by showing, uh, we'll show you the trailers, uh, at, at least part of the trailers and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about them, we'll discuss them. But first we have some news. <laughs> Wait, first Lewis. Sal, are you okay? <laughs> Sal, are you having I a hate, stroke? I hate holding in my sneezes, but if I don't, <laughs> I'm going to blow you guys' ears out. That's what it was. I've never, I've yeah. never heard him sneeze more than this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ask, ask, ask vet. No, Sal, let it rip. <laughs> so you Dude. do you do the same thing I do. <laughs> let it out. That's you funny. have my permission. No, I've dude, never... that'll that'll go into the red zone, even though we're <laughs> our game isn't, our ears will isn't in the red zone. And yeah. The zone. <laughs> so I have to suppress it. Sal, what do we got in the news? So we there's a Stargate game in development. I love Stargate, dude. We've just finished watching SG1 for like the fifth time. It was like 20 seasons or some shit like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I um God, I don't know how much of that one I watched, but I really liked I really liked that series. I really I really liked the I really liked the original movie. Uh, except I watched it one too many times, just like uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, because they played it on Fridays in band. Mm. When we had pizza every every you were fucking band? Friday, of course I was in band. His PP went in touch for decades, <laughs> decades, <laughs> triple digits. I'm actually a vampire. Advanced yeah, so, um, band, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna finally make. Well, they, there was a M MMORPG that that came out as well that sucked. There so was fucking bad. Yeah, oh, was, that's why was, I never named. Wasn't it like on the 3DO or something? No, no, it was on the 3DO. On the <laughs> <laughs> we good. Is there a 3DO game? I don't know, but th this was an, an MMORPG. It was um I don't even I don't even re remember hearing about that. But if it was it as bad how as bad it was, so... yeah, it was it was I, it, I, it, I like, like I like I, I barely will touch MMOs now unless there's they have to be really unique. I, I'm not even going to say that they have to be, you know, super hard or better they just have to be unique because so many MMOs unique, to me are the exact, mm -hmm. exactly the same thing exactly the same thing but um it's a fucking rts game dude what the hell Another stargate rts yeah it is <laughs> the, the new one is going to be an rts it's, a, it's the people who do who did phantom doctrine which is uh like um hmm. fucking what's that game that where you miss 100 shots the the <laughs> alien one, right? XCOM. Yeah, XCOM. I didn't play it. I but know what you're but talking XCOM, about. <laughs> but XCOM is an RTS. Yeah, that's what, that's no, what I said. It's an RTS. It's turn based. Yeah. Well, no. RTS Isn't RTS is real like time. Oh, real, real time? Yeah, real time. No, it's yeah. um turn based. Oh, okay. It's turn based. And um, I was gonna say RTS is. I mean, there's there aren't that many games nowadays that are RTS. No, it's, it's kind of like cool that they're, they're going to bring it back. RTS, you know, real time strategy. No, it was. It's just much oh, more like turn based, like a, like um, uh, was that a? Oh Shadow? yeah, it's the, these are the people that made XCOM. Yeah. So you're gonna miss one hundred percent shots. Of your, yeah. <laughs> your Zet neck, right? Dude, I'd never miss a hundred percent shot. It must have been your. PC wigging out. No, here's the thing. There's PC wigging out. It's it's actually not a hundred percent. Even when it says it's hundred percent, there's like a point zero zero one chance of missing. Zero. It's not zero, a full one. And I zero. fucking missed. I was like, nope. I fucking yeah, uninstalled no. the shit out of it. Uninstalled. <laughs> Seriously, dude. No. How the fuck do you miss hundred percent? That, that's well, no. That's, 
That is way too much fucking jank <laughs> to miss a 100% headshot no like, right in front of somebody's face. <laughs> yeah. like, Eddie no, loved that your game. Fucking game I love that game. It was delete. a great so you'll game. Probably, you'll probably be interested in this one then. Yeah. Why not? Stargate should be an FPS, dude. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's so nah, many FPSs. I think they could pull off it a has turn-based to be. It game has to be because that's what the the whole deal was with the with the with the show. It was you were a fucking soldier fighting the war, dude. Here, go to this point, wait here, and then shoot. Go to this point, wait here, and then shoot. <laughs> You're doing a disservice, dude. What would Fucking kill it is if they made a VR version where you can see yourself walking through the through the iris, dude, through the chapa eye. Yeah. <laughs> and then you end up in another world. I'll be like, yeah. oh, Spooge, no. <laughs> you find me a week later, I'll dehydrate and shit. Give me all your money. But they, yeah, they're... They, It'd they be keep... cool if it was a survival game. Like you're stranded on a planet and you have to mm-hmm. find parts for the Stargate. Yep. Explore. I think that's called Ark. I never played Ark. Is that the Ark dinosaur is good. one? What? Right? Well, it could, yeah, yeah, survival dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. 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 But yeah, man, they 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 hurt me deeply. They cut me. I was like, look what we need a reboot of that kid. movie. No, because then they'd be Stargate? all woke and. Mm-hmm. It'll be woke. It'll be too woke, dude. They'll just throw shit in there <laughs> just to throw woke. it in there, dude. It's like, hey, we're not woke enough. Okay. <laughs> so now we got nebulous aliens, same sex. They love each other. Hey, the CIA is woke now. So, and yeah. we know they listen to this. So they got some <laughs> poor fucker having listened to these episodes because we got yeah. flagged a long time ago when someone in um, fucking. When he had Spike on? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, we had, a, we had like a, <laughs> I don't know, no, it was dude. it was some war-torn country. We had downloads in some war-torn country. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Spike. It was his birthday recently, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Happy he's birthday, like, I guess. But he's never on the fucking show because <laughs> because he's, he's, he fucking, he works during, like, no, he works. have to record at one in the morning or something yeah, if you yeah, wanted he, to fucking record. He has with all the radio shit. He's always working because now he's he's in charge of people. So if somebody calls out, he's like, God damn it, I gotta come in. Yeah. <laughs> what are you supposed to be here today? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, that was starting. Yeah, leave leave the movie alone. Don't touch it. Leave the movie alone. <laughs> leave Britney alone. <laughs> <laughs> so HBO is trying to make a Bloodborne series i guess they're trying to go off of the witcher's popularity you know a game that yeah but to be witcher, fair, though, that the witcher went off real good but yeah but that the doesn't witcher mean is Blood based Board off will. of it's yeah but the witcher is based off of a book series and then a video game i don't think there are any bloodborne books that the game is based off of well how they it's it's gonna here's here's what it's gonna look like it's gonna be night all the time it's gonna be gonna dark see, you won't, be able to, you won't be able to see anything. Of people rolling around and trying to fucking dodge each other. You, you won't even Roll be able to physics. see anything on a laser projector during the day. Yeah. To, it's going to have to be pitch black. Turn even in off. HDR, you won't be able to tell the fucking silhouettes. There's there's no way they could do it because it's everything's dark. Dude, I think I fucking hotboxed it in here with my vape. <laughs> it smells it's like so, weed now. It was so weird because as you blew out your smoke i think andrew smoked <laughs> and so it's like i smelled yours <laughs> and i was like <laughs> I and i was like wait off. that's not possible like, right synesthesia and shit. i fucking french inhaled that shit too you didn't even notice <laughs> uh, yeah um but yeah um but um but um but, uh, Bloodborne, uh, I, I hope i hope it's good because I, I don't know what they would do story wise, but like if they get the visuals right, it could be you know it could be a lot of fun. They're gonna or do it. Could be what, what actors it, are attached to it so far? Do uh, they have it, it, any? It's still just somebody found out that they were doing. Yeah, it. I think ah, it's that's gonna suck. Yeah, <laughs> I think <laughs> ah, it's gonna suck. I think like half of like the reason why The Witcher is so good is Henry Cav- uh, Henry Cavill. 
Oh, Wait, yeah, Lord have mercy. Cavill. Like he's he's a big fan of like the <laughs> the books or the game, and I don't know. He just in he a non way. way. He, like, what? and he's, and it takes place during the day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> not just at night. Not permanent yeah, it, night. It, it'll it'll be too hard. Like homeboy to... comes through, you know. No, it'll yeah, be. I if they do, about that too. if they do make one, it's gonna be a CGI mess, dude. Because how they're gonna do the monsters? Yeah, and possibly. And they're gonna have to drop a lot of. Money. It's HBO though. They did. They did a lot of. They do a lot of stuff that looks really good. So. Oh yeah, but, a lot of their shows are really great. And and, but... and 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 since it is so dark. You can probably get away with a lot less, right? You just it, it's really dark, and you, you don't have to see a whole lot of stuff, right? But it's just it's just gonna be everybody walking around with colonial clothes, mud <laughs> on their face and shit. And that's gonna... Blood, sir. It's the blood. They could do a lot of it interesting things with uh with the Bloodborne show. So yeah. I would like if to see it. If they wanted to do I'm something, interested. they should have just done the Demon Soul series because everybody's wearing armor. That one's monsters. that's dangerous too, though, because um, it's uh, that one works out a bigger little bit fandom, better, though, because the dude, all the dude has to be is wearing, wearing look dashy, dude. I would love to see armor. fucking the onion, <laughs> the the onion like, just do all onion dark, night. just do dark souls, <laughs> just do dark souls movies series. But we'll see if if Bloodborne, I, I hope it, I hope it does well. It probably won't, it'll probably be terrible, but we'll see. I'm gonna start a petition to bring it back. Sexy? The raging no, the raging red onion. Oh. The raging red sexy. <laughs> South is not like the raging red onion. <laughs> so uh so we got we got some news for Starfield. It's the the Bethesda game that's supposed that's to come. That's gonna out suck next. too. <laughs> That's I think so pessimistic shit. today. <laughs> they haven't, here's Eddie's the thing, pissed. though. I think people's expectations are getting way fucking blown out of proportion because they haven't shown shit, and they're already like, "It's gonna be the greatest fucking game ever." Yeah, Bethesda needs to chill the fuck shit. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, no, it's themselves. not Bethesda, dude. It's the it's the fans. They, Bethesda's teasing them though, but they haven't showed shit other than are they that. honey dicking themselves? So? They're honey. Deep dick in them, <laughs> <laughs> balls to the hilt, dude. And they haven't shown you anything, and people are already <laughs> like salivating. It's like a, watching Emerald. This is salt. I'm gonna put some on here, and everybody's like, "Oh my god, it's all <laughs> <laughs> losing their fucking mind." Dude. It's like, chill the fuck out. He hasn't even put the food in there, dude. Yet. I've been watching this guy on Instagram, CZN Burak. He's like this really big dude in the in Dubai. He's like always smiling and making these huge meals and shit. I don't know why, but I like it. Like, is it a creepy smell? Or he's like, no, no, it's 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 actually it's you wholesome. Know, wholesome. It's a wholesome smile. Oh, okay. I just he's like, joined he's TikTok. your height. He's huge. <laughs> huge. So when is so, Starfield? Uh, when is it going to come out in twenty thirty? <laughs> this is Bethesda, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're almost as bad as Blizzard. So maybe I would in probably like two years. say more like 2023, 20, 2025. Yeah. Maybe like two years it'll it'll be completely done. So uh They're probably using the same engine as, that they've been using for like ten years. I hope not. I hope they use a an updated engine because I don't fuck, think that so. It's dated as fuck, dude. They're it's literally Fucking janky, dude. It's it's Jank. literally it's literally Something they created. Their child is already in high school, still wearing toddler, <laughs> toddler armor, dude. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Aged so fucking long, dude. They haven't. They, they still use the same fucking tools to use it. He's just walking around in a onesie. He's yeah. like, what the fuck? He's in high school already. <laughs> Change your fucking clouds. <laughs> There's no reason for them not to update their engine to, especially with the newer video cards, the RTX becoming more of a thing. And you see these, um, these indie games that are coming out that are, look fucking amazing in 4k i don't see them not if they don't update they're gonna go the way of, of sears and keymart dude they're just <laughs> go out of business but um they were talking about what on what systems it's gonna come out on and it's exclusive to pc <laughs> oh and, um, no xbox xbox well the pc is is xbox yeah oh, so yeah. In PlayStation so Five, not getting hard. it. They're not getting it for. It's not hard. a timed exclusive. 
I think it's a timed exclusive. There's no reason Bethesda wouldn't want to get their money, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. The exclusive should always be timed anyways because you're just wasting money except for unless unless course, they straight out unless they straight out own the 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 license then exclusive means exclusive. Oh wait, but uh works. I forgot that uh Microsoft owns Bethesda, right? They yeah, they do, huh? Cuz they got That's Genimax. that's why. Oh, well, that's probably right. Yeah, I was gonna say right. yeah. Unless Microsoft gives Bethesda like a grip unless, of money, unless, but unless PlayStation gives company. them the reach around and lets them <laughs> publish some of their games on their console, then yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, that's gonna piss off that a makes lot dollars of people and that cents. bought the, the PS5 mm-hmm. for it. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, you should be playing it on PC because PC Master Race. Yeah, play everything on PC. Yeah, just play it on PC. What do you not have computers? <laughs> you not have state of the art video cards? <laughs> do, you not, do you not have cell phones? <laughs> so yeah, that that's kind of sad though. It should have it should have been cross platform. But yeah, Microsoft did a, a fucking amazing job fucking checkmating them. I wonder if we'll see something this... too. And and fucking Obsidian and all the other amazing publishers. Yeah. I wonder if we're gonna see something for E3 this year. Because it's supposed to be next month, um, isn't it? Everybody's participating yeah, this year, I think, because it's online. They don't have to buy a booth. So I'm sure everybody's going to participate. Oh, I'm sure they still have to pay. <laughs> you, know, you don't get an E3 for free. <laughs> Everything's online, bro. It's free. <laughs> dot <www.e-3.com. laughs> But um, I think Microsoft is going to participate and everybody else, I think, is in a. I'm sure it'll. Uh, E3 people beg them and say, come on, bro, we're dying here, man. Mm. You got nothing. Gotta do something. Yeah, I saw them and I saw E3 announcing people uh, for the show. Mm-hmm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go bad, dude. If you don't have a solid connection, this is going to be some dropout. Well, if they don't have a solid connection for broadcasting yeah. it, and and if they go through Twitch, then definitely they're not going. Yeah, it. Twitch sucks. It sucks so bad. Uh, so Cyberpunk, all the lawsuits that have been filed against Cyberpunk, kind of amalgamated into a big one now. If I can turn into a giant tumor, and now it's attached to <laughs> the CD Projekt Red's ass, dude. <laughs> they got to excise that shit by severe mea copas dude they're gonna have to do something because <laughs> all those all those class action lawsuits were pretty much the same thing and they <laughs> became one giant one like a fucking what was a devastator transformer they all collected and became a oh that's one. right yeah yeah i forgot the name of that guy i had some of the the, the toys no, the construction i had the whole thing yeah the construction yeah, i didn't right? have all yeah, of them the i had a few set. I wanted yeah. all of them, but although I, I had a bootleg them. one from the saw meat, so it still counts though. <laughs> yeah, the GoBots version. Yeah. The GoBots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a a, a Chinese knockoff. The dude. Chinese knockoffs from the GoBots. <laughs> Wait, no, the GoBots was what is it? A Walmart Transformers. I have no idea. Yeah, it was yeah, no, it was anyways, Kmart Transformers. Everybody's suing. CD Projekt Red. Everybody's Everybody seeing CD Projekt Red and And they're Prim. they're starting to they turn into a gelatinous. Everybody form. except they're Prim. To, they're starting to form up. Everybody except Prim. Blob of, giant blob of lawsuit. Blava. Blava lawsuit. Bruv. It's a giant bruv. lawsuit, bruv. So fuck. I don't know how they're gonna redeem themselves because the game still fucking sucks. <laughs> Are they still improving it? Or are they still like, they're releasing still improving it? And... They're still what are they improving patches. They're, they're literally that's going to be a great game. They literally eventually. haven't put anything new in the, from any kind of DLC. That it's been patch after patch. They've just been trying to patch the game, patch just to get the game up and running. Jeez. Is it is it anywhere near worth paying Yikes. for now? No, that's why they had a sale 20 percent off. That's all still that. not enough. <laughs> No. It's still not enough. That's a give me six for digital only, right? Yeah. If you want retail, you're still paying full price. No, oh, if you want, if you want like a so physical it's, copy, it's yeah. not ready yet. They need. They still make those. Ten more, 
minutes in the where, the, where do you get still a needs more copy? time in the oven you know where do you get a what where do you get a physical copy of a game anymore i don't even know walmart walmart or what goes stores? in a walmart tarjay walmart what do you mean i go to walmart every day at three in the morning to get Call the people culture. say you get the culture and you get the people <laughs> where do you, buy you get to wait PC in line games. for 10 hours is GameStop still even in business? I think they yeah. are. GameStop, uh, not they're not limping. around here. <laughs> they're like limping two along. of them went out of. Oh. Two of them are gone. Um, we got near we got, me. We got two stores, I think, in Long Beach now. And she says they have a new board of along. directors. Oh well, they're not. They're, they're not gone. Gone. They're just, no. They're uh, limping. They're limping hard. They're still limping along. They're limping ord. You, you can you can still get games there. I don't know if they're worth it. <laughs> Depends. Used four bucks <laughs> off from the retail price, dude. Seriously? Yeah. Remember when they used to be like twelve bucks off? The retail well, also copy? like used used only applies to physical copies. Mm-hmm. You can't no, sell a they, used digital. Here's copy. the thing, though. Right. They 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 buy the game from you like it's a brand new one. They give you maybe fifteen bucks, right, for the new one. Yeah, they, they give you nothing. And then they. Sell it for four <clears throat> bucks less than the retail price, and call it used. And say, Yours, is yeah, great savings. <laughs> I think you're the I one getting used. Remember when you used to take my games for a buck and sell them for ten dollars or twelve dollars off? The <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the GTA thing, though. The GTA thing, though. Yeah, there's a there's a a new AI filter system that made shit look like it's real like you're there using some sort of mumbo jumbo that the guy went to <laughs> fucking uh yeah there were like g units the terms. and, yeah. it was a, and it was, there was something the tec- that was the discriminating that makes this happen it was like there a was word salad dude. Is, like, is that a word i don't even think that's a word they just, just make like, up a word oh you're so <laughs> smart dude <laughs> yeah. but basically what it, i think what what it does is they have these photo these actual photos of like a bunch of streets in Germany and stuff. And, and they're using this database to map parts of it, like over the game to make it look more real. Um, it and was, it, it does. Was, it does. Yeah. It does look more real. I, I would still argue that some things aren't quite there, like some textures, but um, it's cra- It's crazy. The difference between, yeah, if it had like, like a grime, grime filter, because the the truck that they pulled up to, the semi, yeah, it was too it was clean, way too fucking shiny. No, no, no <laughs> truck would look like yeah. that in real life, yeah. unless it, if it had roll, some sort of a grime thing. grime filter, then it it would <laughs> pretty much be there. They need a yeah, it's grime. amazing! It's amazing what they're still doing with the fucking how old is GTA? <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of beating a dead like horse, that. right? It's like, like 2013. They, I still, yeah. I still never played. GTA Five. I think I stopped at four, and five I was good. I don't have it's good. any it desire to play it. Though. I didn't like it four. Good. It is good. GTA Five was uh 2013. Ooh, I got it. You got it. What do I oh, win? Cat's background's still, gonna make still... me have an epileptic seizure. Do, oh, do you want cool me to turn it off? The mod community still trying to improve <laughs> the can. game. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's okay. There you go. Now it's see just, what you did. It won't move. See what you did. Well, it was it was creating on my <laughs> end, anyways. Lines <laughs> Andrew across said, the Thank screen. Thank you. <laughs> it was recre- it was creating lines across the screen for me, and it was hard to determine whether they were going across to you or not. So yeah, it looked it looked very realistic. It was like I was there, man. Everything looked so real. Yeah. It's it's a great step forward in technology. Um, I don't give two shits about GTA Five or GTA in general. I've it's cool. It's cool GTA. to look at. It's because you're not cool, bro. No, but yeah, no, it looks like it puts a huge strain on on the on the GPU because it was looked like it was maybe thirty frames running it with the filter. Yeah, the, I wonder. It would probably need more, also what, more power. I wonder better. what I, I wonder what uh, video card they were using to kind of mm-hmm. sustaining yeah there was it was like a 10 minute long video and after about three minutes i was like yeah need this to stop started in this. with some fucking crazy ass <laughs> word salad <laughs> what that doesn't sound 
We should have written some of those down so we can like go over symbiopathy them. or something. He said, like some of the words down. Yeah, the G okay, buffers making, and the uh, making shit up. The L pips. <laughs> at the at the end, it was like putting everything through the discriminator into the L pips. Yeah, and it was yeah, using like, the the G unit or something. I don't know. It's fucking weird. That had to be for industry folk. That, that I don't <laughs> think that was for regular common folk. It was it was it was explaining the the L lip thing on the bottom, and I still was like, "What the fuck does that even mean?" I I honestly do think that some of that stuff was stuff they made up, but yeah, um, yeah, they they're just like you know, and what mixed in cool? with some actual like maybe Rufus. Um, industry stuff. We're just gonna call it Rufus. <laughs> Bro, Rufus isn't going to become a thing, man. But anyways. You know what it was? Remember when we played uh, Space Team and we were yelling yeah. at all those, uh, <laughs> yeah. those techno babble that? terms? What That's that what that it mean? was. The fucking thing that looks like a red dildo. <laughs> we had to just break it down to geometric shapes. <laughs> <laughs> the round thing with the dong and the balls. Nobody and, was answering Samson. He was getting pissed. <laughs> no, nobody was, was answering Sal. 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 It was Sal. Was <laughs> nobody Sal. was listening to me. I just was screaming for fucking I, I, I was because enough. I responded to you and said, I'm sorry, I don't have it. <laughs> you were screaming <laughs> for the fifth enough. time. Dave's not here, yeah. man. That's all Dave's I heard. I'm sorry, dude. That's you a, can't do that. That's <laughs> technically an indie game, right? Fuck. Space team. Yeah. yeah. Independent it developer, is. right? That game, that game was fun. Um, but yeah, so I, that's all we have for news. So when we come back from the break, we will be talking about uh, select some select indie games that we've picked out for y'all for this indie spotlight. We'll be back after the break. Word. Okay, bye. It all started when I had that first shot of vodka. Before I knew it, I woke up soaked in gasoline, lying in a gutter somewhere. I decided to take out my cell and call Andy. The phone rang several times. Someone finally picked up. Hello? It was Kim's voice. But first we have to hear him. Listen, Jim. He was a German boy. 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 Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about the Indie Spotlight, a bunch of indie games that we picked out, we've curated for y'all. And um, we're going to play the trailers here, and uh, you'll see our reactions real time, and we'll discuss each game as we go. The first game we have will be Demio, or Demio. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Demio. honestly. It's Demio. Demio. Duh. It's Demio. Duh. So I'm going to go ahead and share it's my screen. Stadia. I'll try not <laughs> to share the porn. Uh, oh, the I see boobies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to play uh, the Demio trailer. Does this sound good for everybody? Yeah. yeah. As the lords of enemies were summoned in the necropolis, the mighty guardian stood ready. 
Looks like a board game. It is a board game. It is a board game. Told. No, it's a video game. Hey! <clears throat> you gonna play your turn or what? Yeah, uh, sure. Um... No! <laughs> that was Sal. <laughs> no! Yeah. Oh, okay. so oh, it's, it's VR. VR style. Annihilation! I feel... Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> They're surrounding us, man. Yeah! Oh! oh I it's, stepped on it. Do you need, like, a dungeon master for oh, this? Oh, we got a card. No. Nope. No. And... Goodbye. That's kind of fun. I like that. Good strategy going. I think we should split up. I think, uh, I'm thinking 24 hour marathon. Oh my God. Motherfucker, I already suggested that. Nobody's gonna like you. <laughs> Nobody listens to you, so. Yeah, I know, man. It's just so wonderful. Okay, let's try again. Four eons, the elven oh, king no. of all of the land. Come on. Game's already out. It came out last week. It did. Yeah, that 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 actually looks really fucking cool. Yeah, that was amazing, fun. dude. I watched the guy it is play, a lot of fun. Play the first scenario, and I was like, "Holy shit!" So, that's did amazing. you, Eddie? Did you play with other people? Then? I have. I've played with my buddy, uh, and we suck. And I played. <laughs> I played uh, skirmish like one player, and I've gotten pretty far. Um, and I played with random people, and it's a lot so of fun. So, it's a single so it's player just, mode. There is a single player there mode is, yeah. and there is a uh, multiplayer mode. Yeah, right. Uh, it's a lot more fun when you play with friends. But, but that uh, looks like it'd be really good for the extra life marathon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be a lot of fun. It's about a two hour experience. Um, because there's, there's only one campaign there, right now. Is there only one? There's only one campaign and there's another well, one coming imagine. in uh this summer. Uh what's do you, what's the max amount of players on it? Do you know? Four. 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 Oh, four. okay. So you each, you each pick pick one of the characters. They got the paladin, a wizard, uh, a, uh the and guardian, the... and the uh, archer. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That uh, Demio, that looks fucking cool. I like yeah. that. It's it's a why lot hasn't fun. Wizards of the Coast done? They got like how many board games? Fucking dude, Castle, I want to see. I want to see Raven Magic Loft. Gathering where all the shit's animated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or you can play that the shitty ass Legends game that's out right now. No, yeah. but I mean, like, uh, like it would be like that, right? You, you yeah, play you throw against each other, card. but when you put down a card, it like the monster summons or something. No, but the first person to do that is gonna be a fucking quadrillionaire. Yeah. So Probably. let's do it. Let's do it. Whoever comes up with with that VR Pokemon game, <laughs> the rest of their life is rich. set, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking filthy rich, dude. Be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know you got the Amazon money, but I got this fucking Pokemon Pokemon money, money. here, bro. <laughs> can buy you four times over. Yeah, it's a it's a thirty dollar game. It's kind of steep for like. For it's one, for cam the it's one campaign, yeah, and it's yeah, uh, it's three level. It's like each that first campaign is three levels what gives it a lot of replay value is that the first two levels are randomly generated so you never play the same thing oh the twice. third one's like a boss i'm assuming and then the third one is a boss and it's like a static map but it kind of you, you don't know where the boss is going to be at so it still gives you a little bit of a so, so... I, we could probably play it through it more than once on the show. oh yeah yeah i've played i've probably played like 10 hours already and it's it's, it's fun and are they going to have um, updates to the game later on? Yeah, there's already one. There, there's a new campaign uh, campaign confirmed for this summer. Is that it's something not, they're going to release for free or are they going to charge? For that it? is the thing they haven't said if it's going to okay, be free right. or if it's going to be a paid. I mean, um, if it was like campaign. five bucks, that wouldn't be terrible. But no. you know what I mean? Like, but but if, they're, if they're going to be like be another free. 20 bucks, then it would be stupid. Yeah, I'm thinking the first one's going to be free and maybe. Any additional yeah. ones are going to be paid DLCs, mm -hmm. but uh, there, but there is a lot of potential for the for the game. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun, and it's really polished. So, and it's easy on the yeah, eyes. It looks good. I would like yeah. to play it. I yeah, see dude. that it's VR only. Could so, you imagine? Oh, actually, keep in mind. Well, the cool actually. thing is that you can buy it on the Oculus. 
and you, or you could buy it on Steam, and it's yeah. cross-platform play, so it doesn't, you know, because you can still play together. Yeah, you can still play with oh, everybody, nice. but um, yeah, but it's still VR, right? It, it has Steam, to be. Yeah, and there's a there's a Steam. yeah there's a standard edition also coming out if you don't have VR. Oh, okay. So oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. VR. That's what I was saying. Yeah. It, like a lot of these uh, VR games, a lot of them don't roll dice in VR. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but there is some. There's something cool about you know, like the v, the VR version where you can because it lets you zoom the uh, the uh, board in and out. You right. can just kind of you, you position yourself or yeah, or, or be right where the where the exactly. So it's it's a, it's pretty cool to kind of position yourself where you want to be, and you just you know, yeah. it's a little it's it it kind of you can uh here, here there's a tapped opportunity right there for Dungeons and Dragons dude to do something similar. Yeah. I also want to mention who who's the um who was the the fuck the developer for that? Uh Resolution Games. Resolution Games. I just want to make sure we Steamio by Resolution Games. I just yeah. want to make sure that that's up, up there. Mm-hmm. Reviews are very positive so far on Steam. Yeah, mm-hmm. Eddie's review sounds great. I would play yeah, it. Highly yeah, highly recommend dude. it. It's a lot of fun. If you guys get it, man, just let me know. We'll All right. We'll do the a video, board game video a board night. Yeah. Like before it got released, I was like, "Holy shit, this is." We should do that. This, just the as gameplay a is so fucking team easy. building it goes, event. Goes I just add it to my everything. wish list so I don't forget about it. And then as you kill monsters, you get more cards, like yeah. random cards, for doing skills and shit. Exactly. Cool. I wish well, I wish like we could play like shards of uh, a shard of shard, shard, shard of Lawn, uh, Castle Ravenloft, like that. Yeah. Ex- right. And that's like, the reason I bought I bought it because I I dug that that uh that game that Cell took the uh, uh Legend of Dr- Drizzt. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's that uh, was a lot of fun. I even bought it and I haven't played it yet. It's still like wrapped in the plastic because <laughs> you I actually like the the, the like my board my brother will play yeah, it, but it has like, a single player. It has a single. Player it yeah, but it's not. Around. I mean, come on, is it really fun single player? <laughs> <laughs> you Unless know, just like Demio, it's it's a lot more fun when you have a party. Unless you're playing yeah. with me and you're and you have and I have to get the rolls and the, <laughs> any of the rolls. No, yeah, it's terrible. We it's play any games horrible, with dude. fucking dice. With any, anything with chance is like nope. <laughs> you're not gonna have a good time. Let's yeah, move you know, on and to the uh, next. Yeah, so so yeah, it's it's, uh, it's it's a great game, dude. Amazing. Okay yeah, it so. could be a little deeper with the uh, the feature, yeah, the, I'm guessing, the mechanics. But yeah, it's supposed it to. Like it's supposed that, to be a five we'll episode, a five for episode um, game. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's it like it's just complex enough for anybody to like kind of come in and just start playing. Yeah. It's if it's if they allow really easy um, to pick up. If they allow uh, player generated scenarios and mm-hmm. the shit, it's gonna fucking blow up. Dude. Yeah, if if they, they if they could if they could make add an editor in there, that'd be cool. Yep, dungeon That's masters will be like shit. fucking making crazy ass maps. So. The next trailer that we have, the next game that we have up here is called Pathway. The story begins when I was on an expedition through northern Africa. I overheard a troop of Nazis talking about an ancient and horrifying weapon called the Wrath of God. Of course, Indiana Jones had to find it. <laughs> Ark of the Covenant. Is Nathan Drake in this? <laughs> a zombie. Mm-hmm. I dig the music. I actually bought this. I just haven't played it yet. I hate those guys. That's like turn based combat. Mm-hmm. It's like Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, it's like tactics stuff. Cool looking, it's like 16 bit or something, or 8 bit. After a long journey, we finally reached our destination. Your face is gonna melt. (laughs) Fucking run! Don't look at! Don't look at the light. On the 
humble store. Nicolex. Chucklefish. Mm -hmm. Why do they sound familiar? Um, they did, uh, was it Fallout? No, not, not Fallout. No. The, uh, what's that one that just came out with the... Uh... It's something we all know. Hades? Mm -mm. Chucklefish. But Stardew it, Valley. Stardew That's Valley. what it was. Yes. Um, I was yeah, gonna say that had Stardew style. Valley graphics. Yeah, it's like Stardew Valley graphics. It looks really. Now, cool. is that turn based? Yeah. Yeah, is yeah. It well, it's it's random encounters throughout the map. You're trying to get to different points and collect ar ar archaeology artifacts. Cool. Archaeological. Archaeological artifacts, <laughs> and along the way, you you um as you you're on a jeep, so you have a certain amount of fuel before you have to fuel up again. So you try to make it to a next city, or sometimes you randomly find a, a fuel vendor or some sort of vendor. Well, most of the time you get attacked by bandits, either Nazis or desert bandits or Cthulhu worshippers. <laughs> yeah, Cthulhu worshippers, yeah, cultists. And I was like, what the hell? Why is there Cthulhu here? <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't there a Cthulhu here? Yeah. So is that a single player is, experience or is it is it it's a single player game? Yeah. Okay. Player. Yes, RPG. For all yeah, reviews on fun. Steam, it is mostly positive. Recent reviews are mixed. Hmm. Was so released looks fun, in 2019. I like the times. graphics. They're really it's, it's got fun. a lot of charm. The, the, the game is fun. Yeah, it, uh, when you kill one of the one of the humans, it's, it's pretty gruesome. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. Good. <laughs> it's got some good eight bit bloods. But yeah, it's just a like little board game, dude. You just click on a point and then you get a random encounter hmm i'll, yeah, I'll play I'll, it i'm probably going to play it was it free on epic if you've been keeping up with your epic free games you would have gotten it for free oh really yeah um, i i i i haven't booted epic up for like a year uh, all i have mine is set to know i'm logging in right now you can get right now you can get nba 2k 12 or something or 2k 20 or some shit right now for free you, you can get your, you, you can get your them good loot boxes but uh, epic always has free stuff um yeah. and i just i'm too busy obsessed with whatever current game i'm playing i had to tear myself away from eve so i could do this episode and i'm actually very grateful for this uh mm. um thank you everybody subly eddie all y'all for for suggesting this in this particular topic because uh, it got you into a game that we're going to talk about later. Because yeah, it got, we've got all me played into the game. game. It took and me we'll out of a bad situation. Of <laughs> smoking marijuanas and playing leaves. <laughs> so this next game, and that, so that was Chucklefish uh, Pathway. Uh, this next game is Creature in the Well. So I'm going to go ahead and do this here. Oh, it's a switch, or the switch Hello, right on. I'm Adam Volker, a creative director at Flight School Studio. We are making a game called Creature in the Well, a small indie title you may not have heard of. In Creature in the Well, you play as Bot C, the last remaining engineer of the Robot Collective. Your goal is to save the town of Mirage from an unrelenting sandstorm by repowering an ancient weather machine that has been dormant for centuries thanks Let's to an ominous creature. Out. The game plays as a top-down adventure hack and slash, but its core mechanics are inspired by pinball, breakout, and other ball-related games. It's oh, shit. fucking breakout, no, dude. <laughs> In the game, you explore sprawling dungeons room by room. That's pretty Visualize sweet. each of them it's fucking as a small board. The puzzles challenge the player's ability to catch, charge, and shoot the ball quickly and accurately. Each time you hit a bumper with orbs, you collect energy. Which is shown in the top left corner of the screen. Pinball. My dad was obsessed this with energy to unlock Arkanoid. doors and upgrade mm -hmm. your character to further progress the game. Yeah, it is, it is very pinball. Creature yeah. in the well contains eight handcrafted. Hey, isn't that the imperial symbol in the middle there? Unique dungeon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> their own theme and visual style. It's the Galactic Empire. No one has touched bro. the machine in ages, so the creature has had a lot of time to tinker and set traps for you to overcome. Is it Glados? Action focused, challenging your mm -hmm. reflexes. Glados, but she really liked and pinball and Arkanoid. Sometimes even the creature will attempt to stop you at Oh no, it's it's the king dude creature from Dark Souls. Creature in the Well is full of secrets. Everything you find gives you a glimpse into what happened to the machine. 
There are 12 cosmetic capes and 16 different weapons split into chargers and strikers. My personal favorite is the axe. It splits why, a single ball. Why do I multiple, also get like a, you to hit a your weird horizon? Easily. The hammer feel. slows down time. It's well, it's the um right. technology and the part dual of it, blades I think. Mm. equip you with an aim assist. It, it looks kind of like he's post apocalyptic. Mm -hmm. In between your dungeoning, you can visit the town of Mirage, the it's dusty a verb desert now. outpost town at the heart of Creature in the Well. I you like the art style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's different. A dragon crocodile blacksmith. That forged all the weapons and tools you find throughout the game. Uh, if you I bring her old cores from the Souls. dungeons, she can upgrade your weapons and help you level up. She. Back inside the mountain, you'll find Roger, a humble janitor aspiring hey. to be a scientist. <laughs> in fact, it was Roger's great, great, great <laughs> grandfrogger frog. who built the machine in the grand <laughs> frogger. Grand frogger. Hopefully, this clears up what we mean when we say made up words like pin brawler or pinball hack and slash. Thanks for spending some time Pack with us to talk about the game. Creature in the Well. Cannot wait for y'all to get your hands on it. I like that it's a different type of game. Yeah, it's it's like it's an interesting combination with pinball and like a like serious sounding story, you know? Mm -hmm. Fun as fuck. Also free. Oh, it gave Epic. me journey vibes too a little bit. Epic. Really? You got to let us What's know when the, he's yeah, free. This stuff free. I'm pretty sure he does. Um, he used to, and then he stopped. Who, who does this? <laughs> who makes this game? I don't see it on oh, here. Oh, one sec. It's um, Flight School Studio. Flight School Studio. That that looks... Okay, so... Or maybe I did get it. It looks... The art style is pretty unique, but most of all, the gameplay is unique. Like, they're combining... like. Looking pinball breakout top and... down breakout pinball arkanoid and and like hack and slash feel that look that looks pretty cool it is uh 15 on steam that's not terribly moment. bad was released in 2019 i did get it oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> i fucking I remember i suggested it i got it it was last year it was june <laughs> nice well now, you, now you want to play it, it. <laughs> and i have arc Arc. Right on, dude. <laughs> Arc's an interesting one. <laughs> Darkest Dungeon, I got that too. I've been wanting to play Fuck that. Fuck that game. I want to watch you play Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> Deepest, Darkest right Dungeon. All right. Cool. All right. I like that one. Yeah. Well, we hop on. We'll hop on to the next one then. Hop on, pop on over. <laughs> pop on, pop on, pop on. What's the next one? The next one is Blasphemous. And this is the rated M for Mature. Apparently there's nudity. Probably not Ooh. in the trailer. Not a red band trailer, right? Whoa. Oh. I like this already. Prince of Persia? Mm-hmm. Kind of gives me Castlevania vibes. Castlevania, too. yeah. Castlevania. I was going to say, like, Metroidvania. Dark Souls. A little bit of Silent Hill. Deepest, oh, darkest hell dungeon. yeah. A little Altar Beast. Altar Beast, yeah, that boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to your doom. I like that so many games are going back to pixel graphics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially with... Ooh. They, Ooh, just, nice they don't age. Dude, this Dark Ooh. Souls music right here. Ooh. This dude looks like uh, the last boss in Dark Souls 3. The main character looks like... Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. That's, that right there. That baby just ripped his ass apart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he ain't coming back from that. <laughs> I don't think it's coming back from that. Yeah, this is this has a, a heavy Dark Souls influence, or a soul born, if you will. Damn, that was intense. Blasphemous. Also Blasphemous. free on Epic. Really? Also free on Epic. Yeah. I gotta check. Team if I Seventeen. Got that. Team Seventeen. They did worms. They did do worms. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. 
Oh yeah, I was digging that. I really liked the aesthetic. Hard. The game is hard. It looks you hard. Did you, you played it? With your blocks and shit. Yeah. You gotta be on point with your blocks and your. So it sounds like ah. Dark Souls side scroller. Yeah. Yeah. Dark the Souls. tags say Metroidvania, Souls like, gore, violent. Souls like. That's that's the term that I was looking for. Souls like. Yeah. Damn it! Uh, uh, very it. positive on Steam. <laughs> You can buy that. it now for twenty five dollars. Now I'm gonna actually have to like go play these games. I would like, pay for that. That's. I'm. I. How much is it? Sorry, cat. Twenty five dollars, and uh, there is a. It is Team Seventeen is is well known. Like they've mm-hmm. done a lot of stuff, good stuff. They've done uh, Eddie and I's favorite game, Worms. Worms. We used to worm <laughs> it up back at the. Uh... Yeah, we used to play worms at at, at front door advertising. We used yep. to fucking work <laughs> <laughs> on the on the that company's uh, long gone now. Was it the 3ds or was it the? Uh, uh, yeah, it was, it was 3DS, a DS, right? A DS, DS, just a regular okay. DS. Not even a 3ds, just a DS. It was a, just a DS. <laughs> that was fun. Um, yeah, dude, that looks fucking sick. I want to play that. Like I. If there's one thing mm-hmm. I'm getting out of this right now, especially since I was I sort of forced myself to play a different game instead of playing the same game over and over again, um, and I, I mentioned off air too. Not only not only did I play a different game and stuff, you know, like not just play Eve, but I also went back to a game that I sort of swore off. I I, I took a six month break from DVD and now I'm back playing it again, but not like I used to. Um, but anyways, uh, now I like I want to play all these games. Yeah, um, indie games are always really interesting. I and, think. and especially since, because sometimes they tend to be shorter uh, than like right. big, not always. <laughs> yeah, not as, always, but a lot of the time. As our next episode, shorter. we'll probably talk about length of AAA games. Um, when we talk about um, RE8 Village in the next episode. But um, yeah. so we do have more, and, and Eddie has a tail. Eddie has a tail. It's my cat. <laughs> um it's daisy um okay Say hi. There she the is. next one oh hi, kitty, kitty. <laughs> like, fuck you dude oh she's big yeah she yeah got she big. got big <laughs> uh the forest is the next uh, yes. one so let's go ahead and start that i kind of re- vaguely remember us talking about this Was that a kid just like flew in his, his face? It looked like a corpse <laughs> of something, yeah. It looked like a kid. <laughs> Look like a kid with cancer. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. This looks like survival. It's a whole yeah. lot of nope. It is. It's very, it's very much. Survival. um. It's very much seven days to die. Yeah. Yeah. It does. I get that vibe. But seven days to die doesn't really have much of a story behind it. This one has has more of a story. Fuck, they climbed the trees. Fuck that. If you ever watched uh, The Green Inferno. I need to watch that, The Green Inferno. Is that, what, is that what this is like? Yeah, it's, it's very much like that. You're just uh, trying to survive. It's a very, it's a, there's a lot of survival like mechanics in it, and you're mm. trying to survive, like get away from Who these. Who does uh, this one? This is End Night Games. Overwhelmingly positive for mm-hmm. recent reviews. It looks reviews, good. Very I, positive. Is it only and, on PS4? No, it's on, it's Steam, on Steam also. Okay. Yeah, is, it flew under the radar for some reason. Like a lot of people Is don't it really single player or multiplayer. It's, it's single player, player, and then they released a multiplayer not too long ago. Like okay. they released a patch for it. I don't know. I haven't played fuck. multiplayer, but single player, it's creepy as fuck. Mul- want, multiplayer want, is still scary. Is it? I want to. Yeah. Uh, I want to play that. It's, it's a, a lot of fun. Twenty dollars right now on Steam. Um, all of my friends really like it. Uh, Andrew used to play it all the time with the guys. And I played it. I played it once, I think, with them briefly, and then I played once with some streamers, and then my friends got mad at me that I played it on stream. <laughs> I didn't because they love it so it, much. So it's, they, oh, it's because a good you were game. playing without them. Yeah, so that's how much they love the game that they got mad at me. 
Yeah, I wonder I, if you can you can see the see it from the trees though. <laughs> <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've put in a couple hours. I haven't beat it, but it's creeped me out so much. It's it's it's, uh, it's one of those games. Scary. Yeah, you want to play with the lights on. Oh, I and play with the when I was looking for the off, trailer, I re- I didn't know that there's a sequel scared, coming out. Oh, Ooh. yes, Ooh. there's a trailer for a sequel already, and I didn't post that anywhere. But yeah, dude, dude like I think so. It's just this is again reinforcing the fact that one, I need to play more games, but two, um, both Heather and I have been stuck in like a game. Like right now, she's out there playing uh, Breath of the Wild, and she has a yeah. love hate relationship it's with a good it. Game. But she has um, a love hate relationship with it because she's really? tired of it because she wants to do all the things, but she also wants to just fucking finish the game. So she like compromised with herself and said, okay, I'm just going to get all the shrines. That's the only thing that I feel like I have to complete. And I'm just, she's not going to get all the, (laughs) there's a lot of shrines. That's the only repetitive part about it. No, dude, there's like 900 Koroks. You have to get the, you have to get the golden poop though. Yeah. You have to get the golden poop. She did. She upgraded the, (laughs) she upgraded the, the master sword once. And then she was like, I'm not going to do that again because the next one is like 30 levels. So so not not to get off on a, on a tangent like we always do, but just mm. uh, she feels like she's stuck in that game. I felt like I was stuck in Eve a little bit. Uh, don't get me wrong, everybody. I'm Galactic Wolverine uh, Prior, one of my one of my number one fans on Twitch. Uh, I'm gonna continue to play Eve on Twitch, but um, anyways, The Forest uh, by highly recommended it? Night and Night Games and Night. End night. End night games. Okay. Sorry, I it's an older I game. It came out like in two thousand thirteen or fourteen. All right. Oh yeah, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of these games are newer, some of these are not. But um, you know, these are just we, we we haven't spoken about indie games in a long time, and I, and this this is another topic. I feel like like the soundtrack one that we could do again, like the like like the soundtrack one, like the the quiz one. Yeah. You know. So. Our next one is Oxen Free. Whoop, whoop. So you all moved in? Uh, no, not really. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Storybook. Everyone, this so is Jonas. Choices matter. From... Wait, I already me. forgot where. Yeah, he's cool, so be nice. Oh, we won't bite. There's a perfect description in this. This a mix of freaks and geeks, poltergeist, <laughs> and the best '80s. Show. Yeah. <laughs> Alex brought her radio. Is Goonies. You can sometimes pick yeah. up frequencies to stations that don't exist. See, this island's pretty cool, right? Oh. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the islands. I mean, Camp Crystal Lake. And made it sound. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you used to come here a lot as a kid, right? You used to come here a lot as a kid. Something is... Something's There's a glitch in the Matrix. Mm. Yeah, it it starts off seemingly uh. cute and innocent, and then... There's a lot of horror. It gets weird. Stranger Things, yeah. Yeah, very Stranger Things. Which, of course, Stranger Things is an homage to all the stuff we were just talking about, like Goonies and all that stuff. Does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of gave me chills a little bit. Yeah, I like it has a, a very ASMR have, quality. Yeah, there's there's an ASMR feel to it, um, mm-hmm. and I like games that have good a- a voice acting. Not just not just good voice acting, but good writing and you know good storytelling. And whoa, hey, hold on, stop! It was it was gonna play Oxen Free uh, trailer too. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oxen free 2 trailer because it, it just kept playing because i didn't close the thing but um yeah um it that, is very much a story game there yeah is, it looks like a story game there is no combat um but choices matter like a like a game like life is strange um and not like not like choices on rails spike <laughs> uh <laughs> last of us yeah um it's made and- by Skybound, so they're responsible for the, a lot of those point, those uh, click and point and click. Yeah, point and click games like uh, oh, the Skybound. Walking Dead, like the Walking oh, Dead Night games, School right? 
Which ones? Because if uh, that was a Telltale was Walking Dead. Mm. Yeah, I see this says Night School Studio as a publisher. Oh, is it? Yeah, Night School was a studio. Okay. Night School Studio. Oh. Um, oxen free. So that one was Very free on, on Epic as well. <laughs> really? <laughs> Most of the games are, are either free or not too not too pricey. Uh, so far, I I don't think there's any games that we've recommended here that um we don't cons- we don't think are worth it. Um, right. Like because th- th- there are games that you know we've we've talked about that we don't is like it shouldn't shouldn't be that expensive. Um. But anyways, uh, the next this next one. Uh, I actually watched Kat do Let's Play videos and screened a lot of her Let's Play videos for this particular indie game, and that is Sally Face. So I'm going to... One that I highly recommend, which is why I chose it. Play the trailer. Portable Moose. It's got some, like, 90s beats very corn yeah it's a story rich psychological horror adventure it's a game boy a little bit of mystery the game boy advance (laughs) there is um a little bit of combat in this game not too much dude it has asmr in it too oh yeah (laughs) All the music was made by the publisher as well. It's one guy that made this game. That's crazy. And his he goes by Portable Moose is the publisher. Yeah, it's a Portable Moose. This is like horror or Slipknot's origin story. <laughs> I like the uh, the artwork, like the graphics, the style. It's very hand drawn. Yeah, he he drew all of the artwork. He made all of the music on his own. That, that's a impressive. One man show. I like that. How much is that one? Uh, that Let's one see. right now. Was it free? It free on... it's, it's episodic. Epic. Ooh. <laughs> It's episodic. You can buy it per episode or the complete game on Steam is $15. Yeah, again, it sound like 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 a game like that how how much time do you think you put into that? Like how uh, oh, uh, in in-game time. I'm guessing in-game a 12-hour experience. Probably about about 10 to 12 hours. Yeah, so like it's only like you know, like 15 bucks. That's a, that's a good. I, I don't I don't like to solely base the price of a game on the length because it could be a terrible game and still and be really long. Um, but it, it, it's still, it sounds like not only was it a great experience, but it's, it's also a pretty decent, you know, it's amount of time. It's not like a few hours. Yeah. It, it's a great story. Um, if you do it episodically, it always ends on like a crazy note and you're just like, what happens in the next episode? <laughs> And it is kind of uh, unraveling a mystery as well. Um, and it's told from the viewpoint of Sally Face, which is that, that per- person with blue hair and a mask. mask. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very good game. I recommend. I'd play it. Speaking of games that Cal would recommend, next on the list, we have Love, Sam. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So this one, um, I watched her play, uh, and it was pretty creepy. This is second to PT, the scariest game I've ever played. (laughs) Not even kidding. Again, just just like a walking sim. Point and click. Point and click walking sim experience. Story experience. 
Was there any puzzling to it or? A little bit, a little, a little, little bit of puzzles. In order to progress. I remember you this. looking in the journal and just fucking freaking out every like five minutes. <laughs> oh, looking under the bed. No. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, uh, the drop never came. <laughs> <laughs> for the base drop to drop. And this it's like one. You're being... Ooh. I feel. I feel like the vibe that I got from it is like you were being stalked by a ghost or something. Yeah this this game is nuts. The story. Um, I mean, for me, towards the end, you realize the, the there's a twist at the end, and you're just like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh no! Did you, did did you have a feargasm? <laughs> the twist the is that you're actually you realize dead. that you've grown a little bit in. in life. <laughs> he was dead yeah, the whole time. I mean, for me, a scary Purgatory. game. I figured it out already. Purgatory. Lost. <laughs> I, I love scary games. They're a lot for me to handle sometimes, but I I like them because they usually come with an interesting story, which is the case for this game too. Like I at the beginning, I was just so focused on you know anticipating the next jump scare or like you know just trying to survive the game that I didn't really think about the plot. And then by the end, it all ties together, and it's just like you—you you were scared the entire time, and then you get your mind blown. And I'm like, whoa! <laughs> what well, I didn't expect together. this from an indie game that only mind takes like, four hours to play. It's three dollars <laughs> on Steam. Three dollars. Three dollars yeah. on Steam. That's a also that's a bargain. Oh no! Does it, it's who, very positive. The, who is the um... Korean Linguistics Lab? Okay, never heard of them. Love same. Were they in all? rock band in the are they a korean indie game or did they just call themselves that <laughs> i just like i don't New know York underground <laughs> and we korean have linguistics lab let's see all they have is love sam yeah but still it it, it seems like probably a, great, a passion fun, project an interesting experience <clears throat> it, it, i feel like uh horror Especially that kind of horror can be niche or niche or whatever you want to fucking say. You know, like some people, I feel like, I feel like, you know, there are a bunch of people that aren't going to play it because they're too scared. Yeah. I, if you're just looking for like light horror, this is not it, <laughs> which is what I thought it was going to be. I was, didn't realize how was, scary it, it was like psychological horror, right? Like it, it and felt some like jump it was, scares. Yeah. Oh, there jump, were well, some jump scares. Jump scares are. Part are mostly psychological, in my opinion. Um, oh, cat! <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> not you. The other cat, Daisy. No. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it 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 was a f it was fun to watch her play it. Uh, I'll say that at least. Um, three bucks on Steam and Co Korean linguistics linguistics lab. Is that what yeah, you uh, yeah, a very underrated horror game that only has. 150 reviews on Steam. Yeah, get and, some more on there. Huh? Well, I said I'm saying I'm telling our our people get some more on there. Go fucking play the game. Yeah. We'll, we'll link, I'll I'll, tr I'll do my best to link all of these games uh to like their downloads or whatever or where you can buy the games. Um cuz you, you I mean you already seen the trailers if you're watching this. So um but yeah, so our next one uh I think I think everybody but Cap played it. Um well, no, I don't know, Eddie. I don't know if Eddie played it. Um, maybe it's just me and Sal. Uh, but Prem was playing it um, at some point. I think, I, I don't know if it was Sal or Prem who mentioned it first, but this next one here is Valheim. It's an mm, early very access. Very popular right now. On Steam, it's very popular right now. Um, I got into it because I love survival games. Um, so here you go. I was going to get it, and I heard it was just kind of a little shallow. Still. It's not. It is. It, it is not that shallow. I don't find it to be that really? shallow. It took me about fifteen hours to burn through the current DLC. There's DLC. 
Well, the current stuff that's out. Oh. I think it was Prem that recommended it first. Possibly. Um, no. I'll, I'll take I'll take credit for this though. <laughs> I, I recommend it. Even though Prem suggested I, it, I, I, I though I I could say yes. Like, see, look at all this building and stuff. Like that that's like the Minecraft element of it because <clears throat> it's like you don't have to do that. I guess I could agree that it might be kind of shallow, but it's really complete for what it is. And it's really polished. I had virtually no bugs or anything. So, who does this? Iron Gate and Coffee Coffee Stain. Uh, coffee Stain does um, D, D, uh, Deep Rock Galactic also. Oh. I think. I was thinking that it kind of had that kind of vibe. Yeah. So, this, this game is basically survival <laughs> Vikings. Right. Um, with, like a, with a very, like, um, supernatural tilt to it so like the things you fight you saw some things there gray dwarves um they early on in the game you know they are pretty annoying and then throughout the rest of the game they just are a nuisance constantly like there's no point to them after a certain like if there's if there's one complaint about the game that i find the parts that get repetitive are the fact that gray dwarves always attack you i feel like bitch you should run away from me at this point. Like, there's no reason for you to. I can kill you in oh, one hit. Sam, Please stop Sam with the classic. Me. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> yeah. No, but like, it, they, they become a nuisance enemy to the point where it's like because like you can you can one shot them at a certain point and they just keep coming and it's really annoying. The other thing that's really annoying is getting iron. Getting iron in the game is really annoying well, because you have to go to the swamp of... every time. No, well, yeah, the iron iron is the worst mineral or the worst uh, oh, the uh, slimy, uh, the slimy element for the... because you have to go. Yeah, you have to go. You have to find a dungeon in the swamp and then go into mm -hmm. it. And at, at by the time you're you're you know using iron to make like the end game stuff, it's just so tedious trying to find another fucking swamp uh, thing. So. Um, I definitely recommend this game. It's it's a lot of fun, especially co-op. Um, it it's just that I, I guess I guess like Sal said, it's kind of shallow. Like I feel like they're gonna add to it. Um, you know, they could have more biomes or more bosses or something. But it's like it's sort of like Arc Two in the sense that you have bosses that you summon and fight. That's pretty then, easy though, because you're in Midgar. There, they can do Niflheim. They can do. Um wherever the yeah for more content they have a lot of stuff viking lords have yeah. they announced any new dlc or expansion packs i don't i don't know i don't think so it's also pretty new still it it, it it's yeah. it's only been out for a few months I think it's right still in early access yeah and and so far they've been doing a lot is, of like yeah. bug, bug fixes and graphical yeah, and, and, upgrades and, and to, the, I didn't... to the monsters and stuff well, I hope they don't mess with the graphics too much because it's yeah. char it's got a charming like pseudo Minecraft feel to it. Like the graphics are um are more po like it felt, decent it felt like I was playing Ultima. Dude, it looked cool. <laughs> I really liked the way it looked and, and and the music is calming. It's 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 a, it's a it's a really nice game. It's fun. Um it but almost like every other survival game that I've and any other like sandbox-ish survival game that I've played, there's always a certain point where the game gets boring. Mm. Um, yeah, once I made my my um, my base but, impregnable, impregnable. Yeah, our, the, <laughs> the things that it's a, didn't break the walls when, when the forest moves or when there's a storm or whatever. When something happens, there are like pseudo seven days to die wave type things, but they're yeah. really super easy. Like un unless you're terrible at these types of games, because like now, dude, like at this point, if a tr if I see a troll. I'm like, I'm going to go fuck that bitch up right now real quick. Okay. Blap, blap, blap. He dead. Cause you just <laughs> block him and then smash him down. Like mm -hmm. when you, when you're, when you, when you're at that certain level, like there's a certain yep. level where you become overpowered, but I will say this, 
one of the things that I didn't particularly agree with was falling off the side of the uh, the earth. Not oh, not yeah. not that not not that I I like I get that it's that their, their their map is it's a flat like a flat earth and I get that. But when you get to the I wanted to go see the edge like I wanted to see the edge. As soon as you get within, you're not even actually able to see the edge yet. There's a current and it's a fucking waterfall and it drags you off and you lose mm-hmm. everything. Like it's, oh. I, I thought that was that was really shitty because it's like no, okay, I was that's gonna turn the around. mythology, dude. The mythology no, but is you should be able to fucking world. you should be able to, and, and we were in the bit the best boat. We should be able to go away from the edge of the world once we see it. We shouldn't just no, fall bro. off. That's, that's fucking bullshit. simple black black hole um physics, dude. You were in a larger <laughs> ship, so physics. it fucking you go, caught you. You were eaten by Scylla. Don't go to the, <laughs> no, you just fall off the edge of the, we, yep. we, we, you get we, after, spaghettified, bro. We, you were we put, spaghettified. <laughs> we put a, we put a, um, we turned on the cheats and, and we flew down there and you literally, your ship just sitting there at the bottom of like the, 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 <laughs> the entirety of the game yeah. where there's like a lost biome or a biome that hasn't been like done yet. Um, I wouldn't call it a bug. I would I would call it the same as the other feature that I disagree with, which is not being able to take ore through a portal. I think that's stupid. Mm. Um, they want you to like build roads and all this other crazy crap. No, nobody's got time for. Nobody's gonna fucking build a, a network of roads and shit. It's my a pain seed, in the my ass. My seed's horrible too, though. My seed's like a bunch of islands. Imagine. Yes, all of it. We have so many fucking islands. We have so many islands. So and all those I, bridges. No, just to get it's around. dumb. Like, like I'm hey, not, y'all are getting heated right now. Mm-hmm. Well, but what, but what I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is like it's, it's, a, it's a great game, and I recommend you play it. But the two, the two problems that I have with it aren't bugs they're features of the game falling off the, the face the side of the planet sure you should be able to if you sail off it but if you get to the point where you can you can't even really see the edge yet and it pulls you off that's dumb um the other thing uh the the ore you can't you can't take ore through portals which i don't really see the point of that it like slows it slows the game down immensely well, they're, to the they're point expecting where... you to build another another um and just keep building bases everywhere just yeah. to process ore. That's stupid because um, later the, well, on when you have to get no, um, no, 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 Sal, Sal, you can't even take <laughs> bars. You can't even take <laughs> bars through the portal. So what's no. the point of processing them? There's no point. I you cheat. Can, when did it comes you guys to that, play alone or did you play together? We played uh, Heather and I played together. So what I would do is I would just put the ore in my inventory, leave her game, go to my own personal game, put it in a box go back to her game, walk through the portal, leave the game, go back to my game, pick the stuff out of the box and then go back to her game. That, that was, <laughs> that was the way to get around. It, it sounds like a lot of work and it's convoluted, but it would take cheater, hours. Man. God, it would take cheater. hours. So it would t- it takes like five, maybe 10 minutes. If it's a lot, if you're doing it a lot, um, it would take hours to get that shit to where you needed it to be in the game. And that's just stupid. But th- that's just feedback. Like, like they'll probably change that or work on it or something mm-hmm. um, at some point. But I it's didn't early see early access, any... so it could change. Yeah, yeah, it's early access. But the the base game is, is a lot of fun. It's it's cool. I like it. Is Especially, it a lot more fun it's... playing by yourself or with with uh, multiple people? I would say multiple people. Um, I mean, Are you I just... found the the planes biome yet? Yeah, the planes <laughs> fucking hard. But you know what? The, the Man... mosquitoes kill you like two hits me and heather have murked so many goblin villages the furlings we fucking killed all those guys like but the thing about that 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 uh place is like sal said the death skeetos and 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 things like that it's like it's sort of like dark souls out there because you can get good and you can have like all the gear and you can you you can you could just roll steamroll over one of their fucking villages and then one dude will come by that's a level higher than the other ones and he'll just murk you in in a hit or two and you'll be like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta pay attention but anyways valheim uh yes it was recommended by prem and sal um sal wants to take credit originally he can argue with prem offline uh (laughs) our next game is something that all of us have played and i think all of us are pretty passionate about and um i took the longest i just barely played it but i played the fuck out of it i'm about 30 hours in now um just just from a week's worth of play so um it's it's a it's a great game and it's called subnautica and uh i'm just gonna play the trailer for y'all I'm attempting a control. 
Trunk descent. Sunlight. I've been dreaming of it for months. Subnautica is a beautiful game. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to enjoy alone. But it's hard to enjoy alone. Yeah, but gosh, <laughs> it really... The whole, like, being alone in this world is really cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a scary part. Dude, it's giving me chills. Because of, like, this, this music has been my life for the last week. <laughs> we shouldn't have gone so deep. That those, those things, things scary. Oh yeah. god, I hate those things. Fuck. They do not want yeah. us down there. Reaper. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. I, re I remember this uh, audio. Margarita and father already <laughs> part of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that I'm infected when I go, now too. I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Fuck yeah, there is. Dude, that gave me so much chills. Dude, my oh, base way above the ocean and beyond. You just you fucking Minecraft <laughs> <Yeah>. that shit. <laughs> Noob tower into the atmosphere. Yeah. Like, and he's like, I'm gonna try a different way. I'm just, I'm just gonna yeah. nuke tower into the atmosphere. That'll be my escape. So, Subnautica pits you on an alien planet after your sh your massive ship has crashed for whatever reason. This ship was where it was going someplace, and it crashes, and you're stuck there. But you have technology. You have your escape pod, and you have technology that you can use to eventually build bases and uh survive in this un it's like nine you know it's like this underwater environment 99 percent you know underwater and it's beautiful and it's alien and, and uh, it's it is scary survival <laughs> horror i would consider it survival horror because there are points that are really scary but there are points that are really fucking beautiful like um i I feel like this. I feel like this reminds me of when we did the Last of Us, um, the Last of Us uh, show because I, I I literally like played the crap out of the game right before the show, and I was playing it up until now, um, and I think I'm I'm at least around where Cat is. Eddie and Sal. Yeah, you beat, are. Eddie and Sal have beaten the game mm -hmm. um, at this point, which is interesting because most survival games. Uh, like probably like the forest I'm assuming most survival games that I play are, are usually open ended and, and I get tired of them and bored um, but there's actually there's actually a DLC there's or a actual, sequel. yeah it's a, a below zero um, DLC for Subnautica um, and Subnautica is what it's 30 bucks I think oh I don't know Let's I got see. it for free I think I got it oh, yeah it was <laughs> yeah it was free so for a while did. on PS4 too like not long ago I'm pretty sure I paid for it. It's well it's worth thirty dollars. Right I bought it. Yeah, I bought it for well twenty dollars. I bought the physical copy. Yeah, twenty bucks, thirty bucks free. I, I, I think I think it's well what? worth it so far. I've gotten thirty hours into the game, and it has very satisfying gameplay, um, very good base building, and and, and story. The graphics. story, a lot of the story was hidden from me at first. You guys. Uh, I was like documenting, yeah. I was giving you guys a blow by blow as I was playing <laughs> in our chat. And I think it wasn't like 10 or 15 hours into the game when I realized that I had all these fucking voice logs. Right. That it, so and I the didn't... story is hidden. Yeah. Like you, you could go through the whole game without really knowing the story. Yeah. I, and and that, 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 that's probably the only issue that I might see with it because I felt like a, a game like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn was a better application where you pick up the pda it starts playing the audio clip but you have an option to cancel it and listen to it later this i didn't even know i was getting audio clips <laughs> like <laughs> until until some point where um i think I, I read the thing it said something like downloaded audio clip because you know like sometimes it's just downloaded information or whatever and i was like wait a minute so i started looking through the logs and i started listening to all of them and that's when the game started to change from just survival horror or whatever to have like having a real story and i started doing more pro progression to the story um 
but yeah it's 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 Dude, my uh, first my first trip from the shallows to the first island where the it progresses the story a little bit more yeah, yeah. i did not oh, right. dive at all dude i stayed in my fucking little drone thing right on the surface dude i didn't even look down dude. the sea moth you were just floating on the surface yeah just on the surface i'm not gonna look down at all dude i just kept going like, Fuck that, dude. honestly deep, so bro i went deep every hundred meters gets scarier and scarier and a hundred meters also is not that much especially like the um god the blood the blood kelp forest or whatever that place yeah. is fucking sick looking man I love the blood kelp forest and then I'm currently building a base in mm. something called the bulb zone which That's is... another thing that I don't like. There's no what? indication of of what a biome is unless you look it up on Wikipedia. There's nothing well, that actually, says you are if, in this. If you press F1 while you're playing, it will tell you what biome you're in. Again, nobody tells nobody tells you that. There's nothing <laughs> in the game that tells you that. Right. So Yeah. Um, I, I, no I learned map. about the biomes through Wikipedia because I would I would be like, fuck, where do I find copper? I'm tired of this bullshit. And then it would say this biome. And then it showed a picture. And I was like, oh, that's what that's called. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, there's no map in this game for anyone who hasn't played. So Which it can be hard to navigate. If I you kept don't trying to press the map beacons. button many times. I kept pressing the map button. I kept trying to press the map button, open my map. But you got the beacons there. down, right? So you're yeah, I have beacons stuff. everywhere. Okay, good. Uh, I, I put beacons down in what I consider important places. I don't yeah like um like I have I have beacons for the abyss um um which I attempted to go into earlier today and failed miserably <laughs> at about a, a, a one thousand meters. I got murked <laughs> by ghost leviathans, but um the the. Yeah, I, I've like noted a couple of like deep caves where I have a mining a mining uh, base, which I don't really need much anymore. I like because I have the Cyclops, which is like everything, dude. One of the coolest things, one of the best things so far, is uh, plants. I just have uh, a a planter in my main base and a planter inside of my Cyclops, and I just have um, Chinese potatoes and those glowing bulb the glowing bulb tree. <laughs> I just eat that shit like. It gives you it gives you both um, uh, food and water, and they're infinite. And they yeah, they're infinite because you just you 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 eat you, you grab. I don't know how many it's like six Chinese potatoes on a plant, and then you grab the last one, you eat them, and then you save one, and you put it back in there, and it grows back immediately. Um, not immediately, but oh, a little bit over time. Um, and it's a really good food source and water source. But I also have the 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 desalinization water filter mm. thing, um, and I finally got a nuclear reactor uh oh by the way i, I i'm not going to try to spoil story in the game but we we will spoil like you know things i think that you do in the game but what was what was the scariest thing that happened to you sal because you're uh De sal is deathly afraid of deep water oh yeah dude this in is real life dude. This <laughs> it's terrible and cthulhu is down there dude i know I'm, fucking cthulhu is looking at this i'm just waiting for this food to start slipping and i'm like i'm not so much watch. i'm not so much scared so the reason why so i mentioned uh, the meg offline the meg is down the there. meg the meg <laughs> I, I mentioned that John Statham is he's yeah, down we're there gonna, too. Or what? We're gonna break that barrier and then we're gonna have Megs, <laughs> and that's gonna be the day that I'm in the fucking ocean. I, 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 I can't play it in VR for a different reason than why I think Sal can't play it in VR. His is what he, what was just explained for me. I when when I when I like snorkel like in real life, I feel confined, and it's mostly the breathing, right? Like I feel I feel stuck for some reason. But anyways. Um, I don't. I don't want to play it in VR, but I'm going to keep playing the game normally. Uh, but sorry, Sal. What was what was your your scariest moment? Well, the first time you meet the Reaper Leviathan, the right, Reaper, uh, yeah, the Aurora. I was. Oh, he so got I was looking. Good. I was looking. I was looking for pawn parts. <laughs> yeah. And I and I went by it, and it got darker. And I was like, "What? Why is it getting so dark here?" I turned on he my lights, and then boom, something fucked me up. <laughs> and it flipped around and. Went, <laughs> It got you from behind and gave you the reach around. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just I didn't see and see it coming, dude. And it fucking just it triggered me so fucking hard. Dude. I, had an, <laughs> I had an anxiety attack. I think I remember telling you guys, dude. I'm yeah, you remember. I remember you saying you had an anxiety attack and you had to stop playing. 
<laughs> the, dude, this the is... noises in this game are so fucking scary. Like, yeah. I think a the audio is really cool. Is gonna audio, yeah. murk you at any moment. Scary. Sometimes. And if you have, if you have a good headset with like gun, yeah, five point one, dude, it, this shit you can hear like coming up your yep. ass. Yeah, I, I can, I can hear. So I, I've ident- I, I know some of some of the smaller creatures also make loud, scary noises. And I, the I've little fish that explode. What are they called? The uh, <laughs> Dude, oh, when you just that. hear that shit, you just fucking <laughs> you both you swim for your life. You can't. She does. You just gotta take the hit. No, if you, if you if you have the the sea glide, you can totally get away from them easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, those are usually in a tube though. When yeah, I, I fly back tube, out of the tube like, and get out. I, I got hit by them a few times, but uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage. I think they're more no, scary they than anything. They're just they're scary. Well, that's how you get um, sulfur. <laughs> Nobody yeah. told me and, that, dude. That, that's and self, you get no, sulfur. yeah, sulfur. I didn't know that either until I, I was going by one of the things that it came out of, and I was like, that looks like sulfur. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but which is also funny, too, because like sulfur is used in like 0.05% of the fucking game. <laughs> like i haven't used sulfur i made a couple of flares i accidentally made like a dozen flares and i've only used like two i i don't I, because the flares do absolutely fuck all they're, they're either they do nothing or they're too fucking bright <laughs> that's how i feel about the flares there um, was another use for sulfur i can't remember what it was maybe the heat knife maybe yeah to upgrade the, the heat knife, knife but 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 or there's like a couple other things, but that that's it. Like there's there's no there's no perpetual use for it. Everything else gets used. Like titanium gets used constantly. Mm-hmm. It's like the main reason. I didn't think I'd ever run out of it until now. After I'd like built the Cyclops, which is the submarine, the large sub. Later and, on, salt salt was like hard for me because I had. But it, dude, all you need is is one of those fucking wa- water filters. Gives make you an bleach. ass load of salt. I don't even. I haven't even used bleach for anything. What do you need bleach for? Oh, Making bleach is stuff. used to make disinfected water that you can what drink. Is, what does disinfected water do? You drink it for water. Yeah, but the the the, uh, but um, the ones you, you get from you the filtered it. water are better. Yeah, but you can still well, make the filter water one disinfected though, is, water from way bleach. Later, though. Uh, I guess it's way early, early on. I, I, early I, on I skipped. I bleach skipped Bleach is over really that. early on. Yeah. Yeah, I skipped over bleach. I didn't even use it. I didn't make disinfected water. I found some. I found a lot of disinfected water, but it only gives you like 30, whereas the water filter gives you 50. But again, it, it was sort of like, it's sort of, it's not like, I like that it's not completely like linear. Like you guys obviously use disinfected water a lot. I didn't, I skipped over that. Um, and, and yeah, and, like and, I stock up on uh, salted peepers and disinfected yeah, water was, and then i, I was eating salted the... peepers for a long time <laughs> because they're, they're, the, they're the highest in calories mm-hmm. and right the cured peepers so um but then after i i finally went back to the aurora i found so many so many food blocks and at that time i had already had my garden i haven't eaten any i haven't killed a fish for for food since then yeah, and, <laughs> and i don't have a garden so i keep killing fish oh you need a garden so, holy crap oh she hasn't yeah. you haven't made it to the island yet have you no i i have oh you should have grabbed you should have grabbed a bunch of you should have grabbed one of each Seeds. plant oh i could go back and get it i mean yeah because if, if, if you grab the like the fruit or whatever from each plant um mm-hmm. you just you, you make one of those uh uh what's it called a grow by thing or whatever indoor indoor the indoor um, indoor grow bed grow bed uh and you just you literally just right click it and put it in there and it grows and yeah. then like i said you just keep you keep one left over after you eat them all and put it back in and it it's an infinite renewable food source yeah and, but and that's the cool thing about this game is that you figured that out whereas yeah, i'm different. still doing a different method you know you everyone has like a different experience a different and, approach yeah, yeah I'm trying to tell you, things. Sam, that you're doing it the wrong way, Sam. I don't think so. <laughs> you're doing it the wrong way, Sal. Fucking flying on the dude. When I'm in my sea moth, I'm all over the fucking place. <laughs> um, I like unless, flying through unless all that I shit. can follow the ground. I'm not fucking looking down, dude. <laughs> Because that's where it's gonna come. The attack. I have to, dude. I love sonar. Come from below. From sonar below. is my favorite because you can, when you can't see anything, if you hit sonar, you will see the outline of the Leviathan coming at you, <laughs> <laughs> which might scare you more. <laughs> but um, 
I had a so shitload of lockers in my Cyclops. Like it was nothing but lockers inside. Yeah, you know, it's I, I have I only have like two because I realized that there it comes with an ass load of storage in the bottom. It I does, and I it. added a shitload of more. <laughs> yeah, I have I have two lockers right now because I have um I also haven't been using my Cyclops like as much yet because um I'm, I'm I think I'm about to start like embarking on like going out deep and exploring not not deep but like far and exploring more with it because I've sort of gotten to the point where there's still like a couple of elements in recipes that I don't understand that I don't that I've never seen um and there's still the abyss which like I said I attempted this this uh right before the show and I just got killed thankfully I <laughs> I didn't say I, I saved before that happened, so I just exited yeah, and went well, back because I was always like, save I don't, before you feel I don't like you're, lose before the going to Cyclops. a new place. So save. I literally, and this this is the other thing too. And this isn't. I wouldn't consider this a this isn't a bad a bad thing or a bug or anything. I I literally made a cy- made my first Cyclops legitimately, and then um, I went. I went too shallow with Your it. First one, legitimately. <laughs> yeah, well, well I, yeah, be, cheater, man. Because I, I, the first, I, I, I went over to the. Um, I was gonna go in a certain direction, and then it got stuck. It got fucking stuck on the in the shallows, and I could not break it loose. Not with floaters, not with my seamoth ramming it. I could not break it loose, and I was like, "This is stupid." And so I opened up the um, console and cheated. And spawned a new Wait, one. So and took that, all the shit out of it. Wouldn't put that it one in, that got stuck been would have been your legitimate one? <laughs> Not the other one. That's what I said. I just said the first legitimate one I made got stuck. What are you fucking? Are you high, Sal? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> the legitimate one that I made got stuck, and then the and then I had to make a a cheat one because that was stupid. It, it literally couldn't get it uh, unstuck. It wouldn't let me. Um, but tap X for doubt. <laughs> I really, I really liked, I really liked uh, uh, getting blown up in the fucking abyss. That was fucking terrifying. <laughs> getting the getting the cyclops blown up in the abyss <laughs> because at a certain point it it took on it starts you start taking on water and everything was so damaged that it just went like straight like this and I, I was stuck i was stuck in the cockpit and i couldn't get out i was like fuck, fuck. i started to get a little bit triggered because i couldn't go anywhere i was stuck oh, and then it finally said that um, it, it it finally like broke and exploded and and then i was uh ejected Oh no! It kills you. I think it kills you when it, it it sinks. It just straight kills you. I thought I thought I could jump into the prawn at least, <laughs> and sink down to the bottom. <laughs> so you got your prawn already? Oh, yeah, yeah you prawn. you get the prawn before you get the cyclops. That's right. Yeah, I have everything. I've actually used the prawn um, uh, in in the 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 lost the lost river. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, and to mine like the rarer stuff, but I still haven't found. I don't know. It looks like a crystal it starts with a K. I think I haven't found that element. High night. That is going to be yeah. um at over a thousand meters down. Okay. In yeah. The, but... uh, inactive lava zone, which is where I'm trying to go because that's what I need. But I'm getting distracted with base building and also, the lo- uh, stocking so up on supplies. The base building is so much fun. The heat. The heat. So I have the reinforced suit um, and the rebreather and all that stuff. I can last a very long time at, 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 at really low depths outside of any you know vehicle but um it's still if you go through like a lava vent it still acts like you take damage but you don't take damage like it goes but there's my my health doesn't go anywhere (laughs) like (laughs) what's that all about come on come on i don't know come on (laughs) gotta fart but um i look forward to playing more of it um I probably I, I would wager I don't. It depends on again. It depends on how you, how you play. But I I feel like progressing the story wise, I'm I'm getting closer to the end. Yeah, we've no. we've mainly talked about like no. the mechanics of the game. But um, those of you who haven't played this game, you really should because the story is really fun to unravel, and yeah. you can take it at your own pace, and you find different pieces of information at different times than other people. So everybody has their own kind of experience so if you can play it without getting too many spoilers about the story please do it like this is i honestly don't recommend streaming this because 
when I was streaming this, people were spoiling the story for me and that made it a little bit less special. Like, I feel like if yeah. I had discovered that stuff on my own, it would have been a lot cooler to find out because I didn't realize how much information yeah. was out there. And 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 to, to be honest, the reason why I have a plant bed like as my main food source was because I looked something up because I needed to figure something out. Sam is a soy found boy. A video. <laughs> and I found a I found a video and this guy was like, I use plants for blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that looks dumb. It doesn't give you that much. Um, but then I ended up doing it uh, anyway because I just, I happened to pr- across the plants and I was like, why not try it out? And if you have change it, your like, life. <laughs> you change my life because like if you, if you have it in the, um, the Cyclops, especially you always have infinite food basically. Right. And that's, and that takes up a lot of my time is collecting space. Like, salt deposits. And it takes papers. up space in your fucking yeah. inventory. Yeah. Yeah, but the water too. filter, the water filter helps with the salt if you need I, salt. I have that. I have that. So yeah. the, the water filter does help, but it still like takes a while because I like to stock up so that I can go on large. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's because and... it's because you're still making salt cured fish. That's why you need so much salt. Yeah. Get with the times, cat. We're all vegetarians here. <laughs> I just eat the fish raw. Yeah, well, in a, in a pinch, <laughs> like if I, I at one point I was like dying and I was like, fuck. So I just grabbed a fish and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> those those one those air bladder ones give you oxygen back. Mm-hmm. Eat it raw. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. And well, like- did, what do you need that for? They're 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 in twenty meter water. You just swim to the surface. <coughs> those air bladder Sometimes guys don't, don't go lower it. than that. I know you've never you've made it not not made it. <laughs> but I would say the what? scariest so far the scariest thing that's happened to me. Sal's high. I'm trying to get there, but it's not working. Uh, the scariest thing that's happened to we'll me drag you down, bro. Like is on your uh, for the first time I went into one of those like slightly larger wrecks, you know, um, where you find little entrances into like it's like a piece of the Aurora or whatever, like a big piece of the Aurora. Um, and I found my way inside, and then I was like in a room where I, I, I didn't like you get kind of disoriented because it like flips you around and shit. And you, there's no, there's no way to like reorient yourself. Um, and I was low on oxygen and I could not see the way back out. And I was just like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> um, and then I just, you know, I'm just like, fine, I'm going to die. It's fine. It's all fine. I think I died. I died a few times like that. Yeah. But, it happens while you're getting used to the game. Now, if you had one of the air bladder fishes, you'd be like, oh, okay, <laughs> there's not going to be okay. an OI. Oh, uh, yeah. If you had an inventory, got it. Yeah. Like if you saved it. I never use do, do they, do they, do they rot though? If they're not cooked? Um, It, it takes time. Like they don't mm. like most food doesn't spoil all that fast, but it does spoil. No, when you cook, when you regularly when you cook it. stuff, it spoils really fucking fast, but we cure it. It takes a lot longer. Yeah. You know? I've never seen cured stuff spoil. Yeah, like the raw stuff will last a certain point. The cooked stuff lasts a little bit longer than that. And then the salted lasts. Oh, okay. Than that. But anyways. Well, yeah. Those, yeah, those go, fish go will save out. your ass, dude. Go check out there's Subnautica. There's by, bubbles coming who is, out of Who is the publisher again? Unknown Worlds Entertainment. Unknown Worlds Entertainment. You need to shorten that a little bit that's a lot and then there's there's air vents like in 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 sonic where you you grab the air bubble whoop, whoop, oh yeah that's right and you the get vents. Air back. those didn't seem to give me air back that's annoying you gotta sit in them that's and, towards the beginning too yeah the alien vents i i, I found them but i've never I, at this point like by the time i think that i found them i already had the the the, the best the air tank yeah, um and the rebreather. Well, not the rebreather yet because I was still I hadn't repaired the um Oh, you got the one with the extended extended air tank, right? Uh because well, you start off with no air tank, then you get one that gives you a little bit more and then Yeah, you get an air tank the and then you get the reinforced air tank, and then you get the extended air tank, and then you get the ultimate air tank. I have that and the rebreather. But mm-hmm. before that I wasn't using the rebreather because of radiation until I realized how you stop the radiation and once the radiation stopped then you can just wear your reinforced suit and your rebreather and i can last like you know a full three minutes at Mm -hmm. you know 900 meters or whatever outside of a thing but anyways (laughs) it's overwhelmingly positive on steam and it has over a hundred and fifty thousand reviews it's great one of the things really good 
yes one of the things that i want to make sure i say is that it does give me like a uh, portal feel uh because the 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 computer is oh, the a little AI snarky sounds. the ai is <laughs> It's fucking great like it's it's not it's not quite as like ridiculous as like glados but it's close like there's there's a, a nod or a tip of the hat i think at least true true hmm. it's also important to mention that if you do play it and you beat it there's a sequel that just uh launched below last zero. week or this week which is also very good if you yeah. played it from what i hear i'm trying to get busy with the story so that i can play below zero Mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. i'm gonna mm-hmm. yep me too mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we'll do we'll do it we'll do it again in, in the mm-hmm. next indie mm-hmm. spotlight we'll talk about mm-hmm. below zero mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah thank you so that, that was it <laughs> everybody for listening and watching and if you wanted to see the trailers you can if you watch the, uh, this video on youtube you will see the trailers and you can just look up the games yourself, obviously, on YouTube. But thank you, everybody, for listening. We love you guys. And good night to you motherfucking nerds. Good night. Bye-bye. This hell's high. <laughs> thank you so much to all the nerds that listened. You can find us at strengthengaming.com. Or email us at info at strcast.com. I like people to stay out of my swamp. What are you doing in my swamp? I like playing with donkeys. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to change my mic. Very, very sassy right now. It's creepy. <laughs> <laughs>